I'm Tom Callos. I'm in Denver, Colorado at Dave Kovar's ProMac event, uh, an organization and a, an event that meant to teach martial arts teachers how to do what they do better. And there is no better martial arts business, curriculum, instructor, school management than Dave Kovar. Anyway, I taught a class yesterday and I taught uh, five basic principles that every instructor should know. This is number two. And that was the five levels of marketing. There's five kinds of marketing that you do. And let me go over them real quickly. There's psychic marketing. And most instructors do psychic marketing. And psychic marketing is when you want to communicate the benefits of your work to your community, but you're not writing or filming or taking pictures or explaining it in any detail, but you know them, you've felt them, you've lived them, but somehow you think the community is going to learn it because you know it. So you must be thinking you're transmitting it psychically. It doesn't work. I've tried it for many years. And uh, I can't even bend a spoon. I don't know what I was thinking about communicating to mom and dad, to the quarter of a million people that live in my community, the benefits of being on my mats on a regular and consistent basis. So the second kind of marketing. So get rid of the psychic, but be aware of it and be able to realize when you're doing it. The second is called dumbass marketing. Now dumbass marketing is when you're marketing, but it degrades your message. It isn't smart. It's, it's, uh, it's like cotton candy, you know, it dissolves in your mouth and it really doesn't do anything for you but spike your blood sugar and affect your pancreas, bring you closer to diabetes. Yeah, you're getting immediate gratification, but it's kind of dumb in the end. Uh, it's, so be aware of what dumbass marketing is because a lot of people do it and it's just not very smart. And be aware when you, uh, are doing your marketing that you never do dumbass marketing, all right? So the third one, the three others, are good marketing, great marketing, and ingenious marketing. Good marketing is good, it's not bad, but good means like passing out a business card or putting up a flyer. Good marketing is something that any 17-year-old could do without any training in business whatsoever. You know how to make a card online, they know how to post a flyer, they can shake a hand, they can set up a seminar, you know, or a, an event at a school. It's not bad, but it's good. And you have to be aware when you do your school's marketing, could anybody do this? Does it take any training whatsoever? It doesn't mean you shouldn't do good marketing. Good marketing is your base, but it isn't great marketing and it isn't ingenious. It's the kind of stuff you do if you don't have any background in it, but it's just common sense stuff. Great marketing, which is above good, is, requires a little more thought, some connection, some communication skills, some experience. A good example of that is a good marketing act is saying, hey, well, here's my card with a guest pass. Great marketing is when you've cultivated a relationship with someone who has many relationships, like the pastor of a church or the administrator of a school or somebody who runs the human resources at the hospital and as a result of the work you're doing with their with your personality and and making sure that you're meeting people's needs and you, they say something like well give me a hundred cards and I'll put them in everybody's paycheck and then that's great but it takes a little more skill and I'm not sure every 17 year old or 20 year old fresh in business understands that. That's great. It's another level up. So be aware. Make distinctions about good and great and recognize that that you're competing against everybody when you do good and the, and the field is smaller when you start getting into great. Now in genius marketing is when you get chicken skin. It's like wow. It's like well a good example. Good marketing is setting up an event at your school to teach bully prevention. I mean, hopefully you know something about bully prevention and you're not just bully washing where you pretend you know, you actually have done the research. A great one is when you do a series of them and you, in, and you have a cohesive program, you know, because anybody can set up a seminar, whether somebody shows up or not or whether the content is great, that's yet to be said. Great is taking it to the next level and maybe doing something to, to meet the demands of a larger body of people or something more cohesive that isn't just one but that gives you many many opportunities to talk and promote about the work you're doing. But an ingenious approach to bully prevention would be to recognize that for example your town doesn't have a bully prevention website, not a cohesive one, where there's the best videos, that access to the best books, the best authors, the best people working in your community, the best information that you have gone through the effort of gleaning and assembling and making available for every counselor, teacher, school owner, and it's, 
I mean, anybody who deals with young people, any person that's being a victim of bullying or is a perpetrator of bullying, it's a whole nother level. It's, it's effort, it's thought, it's steps, many steps. It's more effort than the average kid would be willing to put out. And it's kind of the work of a master teacher. So that's the five kinds of marketing you can do. Psychic, dumbass, good, great, and ingenious. And try to make about one in every 10 acts of marketing something that you could send me and I just go, wow, this is over the top, beautiful, and well designed. All right, I'm Tom Callis at ProMac in Denver. Thank you for watching.